what's up team fellas this is again amy welcome back to my channel welcome to get up my canal so in today's video i want to try something different i told you guys on one of my videos that a friend of mine um, brought for me some raw jamaican black castor oil and um, she was on holiday and then i asked her to bring me some so she brought some and we kind of divided she gave me a little bit so this is the jamaican black castor oil i put it into this container because it's yeah i didn't have any other container i wash and sanitize this container before ever pouring the jamaican black castor oil in here as you guys can see this oil is thick is super super thick so i have these herbs and i was like you know what i want to blend all of these herbs this is rosemary um stage thyme i want to blend everything and soak it with this jamaican black castor oil and for a week or two and then after that kind of drain it and then use it on my hair i just want to see it's just an experiment you guys know all the hair oils that i have been making the black pepper um, um hair oil the percocet um hair oil it's just an experiment i try it and then i see i i, I experiment with it i try i make the oil and i try it on my hair try it on the kids hair and then i put it outside there but trust me if you guys know jamaican black castor oil you, you already know that jamaican black castor oil is very very good when it comes to hair growth rosemary is also super good when it comes to hair growth all of these herbs they're actually very very good when it comes to hair growth so i'm just like thinking like mixing all of this magic hair growth herbs into a powerful hair growth oil what are you going to get like a massive hair growth so that's what i want to do so i have my jamaican black castor oil i have all my ingredients here all my herbs and then for to preserve it i want to add some tea tree and peppermint oil just few drops just to kind of preserve it i was thinking of dividing the oil into two maybe use the other ones for something else but i was like you know what the oil is not so much and my friend was like i didn't know you like jamaican black castor oil that much she, she'll be going back um in the summer so i tell her this time i need my own container this time i'm not going to be sharing with anybody i need my own container so she was like okay next time when i'm going i got you so for now this is all i got this is all i have so i'm just going to like blend the herbs i have my blending machine standing so i'm going to move this camera a little bit back so you guys can see the process of the blending so i'm going to put all the herbs in here and then we are going to blend hopefully because I, wa I wanted to blend it with the oil but i was like this oil is so thick how am i going to be able to get this oil out of this container without me not wasting my oil and the, the thing here is i don't want to waste this oil i don't want to so yeah so we're gonna do it in a way that i'm not going to waste my oil even if you're gonna take me 100 years to make sure i blend all of this and put it in here that's what i'm going to do so guys let's start with the blending process this blender survived this blending process that means this blender is super super good so it was very difficult for me to blend this i was shaking my blender as i am blending i'm shaking the blender because you know the leaf is not like um very very dry it's still a little bit raw so you guys can see that shaking process eh? i did this from the beginning to the ending i have this wooden um thing that i bought a long time ago we call this in my local language if you're from sierra leone we call this matarodo so for a second i thought should i bring the matarodo and just beat this thing and pound it and so it's smooth but then the other lazy side of me i was thinking ah, after i have to wash this thing and then i still have to wash this blender again you know what let me manage this blender let me just be shaking let me just shake this blender so at least i don't have to do two job at the same time let me just so that's how i've been doing now. so that's what I, I was doing i was blending and i was shaking i was blending and i was shaking that was shaking the blender is real good honestly speaking i give this blender 10 over 10 because all the shaking that was going on here you people did not even see the shaking because I was like, it's just ridiculous showing all the process of me shaking this blender as if, say, 
the blender cannot spoil. But anyway, it ended up working. I, I blend everything, everything blend. I have to go little by little. I make sure that I blend the entire herbs. I blend everything. The stage, the rosemary, the thyme, I blend everything. Everything was smoothly blend because I was thinking, um, I blended a little and I was thinking maybe I should stop and then blend the, the other ones later if I want to use it again. But then my head was like, my laziness sometimes bring the best out of me. My laziness was like, you know what, just suffer the suffer and blend everything once and for all. And then you can keep the remaining one. So later you don't have to go through the process of blending and shaking and then washing the blender. Because I'm, I'm trying my best. 2023, I'm trying my best to just minimize hard work like i don't want anything stressful so i'm like let me just go through since i'm already going through the stress of blending everything let me just go through the stress and just blend everything and then um can keep the one i don't want to use and the one i want to use i'll use it so as you guys can see like i kind of cut the video because this shaking that you guys are seeing here is not compared to the kind of shaking that i really did was I was blending these things. So as you guys can see, I ended up blending everything. And honestly, it came out really, really good. Everything was smooth. It was really, really nice, actually. So after blending, I'm like, after I've suffered to blend this thing, I'm going to get every single one out of this container, out of this blender. So as you guys can see, I took my, my spoon or something, I don't know what I was using, my fork, I... I I just scrape everything out. I scrape everything out. And that's the smell. OMG, the smell is beautiful. Like I really didn't um realize blending all these three herbs together is going to have such a beautiful smell. The smell is beautiful. The the stage, you know the stage, the smell of the stage. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. And I was like, you know what? Let's experiment. It's an experiment. It's an herb. I have no um, negative reaction when it comes to these herbs. I've used them. So let's give it a try. So this is what everything look like. Like, let's just give this blender a, a applause. Let's clap for this blender. Just give this blend, blender an applause. Because, come on, the kind of shaking that this blender went through, after I wash it, and then I I intentionally blend something again. I think it was tomato or onions just to see if the blender is still working. And <laughs> believe me, the blender was still going as if nothing happened. And I was like, ah, God is good. So this is the finished result. You guys can see I end up blending everything. And you guys can see this is a lot. It's much more than what I actually needed. But then I thought I could just sit this down, allow it to dry for if i want to use it again so this is the jamaican black castor oil so after blending all of this i actually sent a picture to my friend i'm like you have to give me another jamaican black castor oil because i need to fool this container because the stress i went through of blending these herbs i need to be able to fool this container and she was like okay i even wanted to call you um so when i'm coming i'm bringing some so she was coming to visit and then she she brought some at that time i've already mixed the the mixture but when she came she gave me another um jamaican black castor oil i just end up um fooling the container so maybe when um on the next video when i'm going to drain the oil you guys will see the container is much more fuller than what you guys saw on this video so yeah i kind of add how much i need i wasn't measuring properly i wasn't counting like i just kind of eyeball you know when you've been doing something for for a period of time like cooking you just kind of eye it you know exactly how much you need how much salt and pepper you need you don't measure everything that is what i do when it comes to me mixing my herbs or mixing my stuff for my hair i kind of measure i know exactly how much this will be needed so as i am adding the herb i am actually mixing it and trust me the smell the jamaican black castor oil with the uh, with these three herbs mixed together the smell was beautiful 
the smell was beautiful. So I'm going to allow this to sit. I said I'm going to allow it to sit for a week. But I was like, no, I really want to get the best results. So I'm going to leave this one to sit for a longer period. Maybe a month or something. I don't know. So because of, I'm going to leave it to sit for long, that's the reason why I decided to add um, some tea tree oil and peppermint oil to act as a preserver so that it doesn't spoil. Because this is an herb. The leaves is still like not 100% dry, dry. So adding this to as a preserver is really good. And also what I do every other day, like every other day, every two, two, two three days, I kind of take the container out of the, um, the cabinet because I put this in the cabinet. It's like very dark there. I kind of like give it a mixture, like just mix it again properly and then close it and put it back. So I do this because I put this in the kitchen. I put this where I put the kitchen towels in the cabinet because every day I'm taking new kitchen towels. So definitely I am seeing the products and so I can easily take it out, give it a good mixture and then put it back. So that's what I did. And the rest of the herbs, I just kind of keep it. I want to also try this with um, amando oil, um, um, amando oil, amando oil, which we, um, I want to try this with amando oil. So I'm going to buy um, that oil and I'm going to mix it with this. I'm going to use these herbs with different, different type of oil. So stay tuned. I'm going to try this with olive oil. I'm going to mix half of it with olive oil. I'm going to mix the other half with amando oil. Um, and if I still have remain, I'm going to try a different oil. I'm also going to try this like a hairspray, like soak it with the water for a couple of days and then drain the water, use it for hair. But I'll show you guys whenever I'm coming up with anything that I want to do with this particular herb. But yeah, so this is what remain. As you guys can see, I'm trying to like make it really nice and I'm going to keep this so that it dry properly. But yeah, this was the finished result. Like, this is so, so beautiful. If you have the energy, try this. You will love it. Team for less. Peace out. Do.